Come join our Cave Club Rock and Party coming up after this. Okay, I'm super excited to be opening up the Dino Rock and Party Tella and Party Ceratops. This ghetto blaster that comes with Tila almost makes it all worthwhile. Cave Club, they got a new logo. It's kind of metallic y. It looks great. Look at all of the cute little animals gathering around for this exciting release. I got this at Toys R Us. This was ridiculously priced. It was $60. Which in Canada, where Toys R Us is, a doll usually costs 20 bucks. And a doll usually comes with a lot more than what this Tella is coming with. So that makes this dinosaur cost more than $40. Doesn't have rooted hair like the last beast, but it does have sound features. I guess that's where the money's going. Usually when you buy a bigger set, it should be cheaper. You should be saving money. There's lots of features on this. Let's look at this before I give you all the fantastic sound bites. And the sound bites are great. That's where you play the song. Hopefully the saddle comes off like the other one so you can strip down to a normal dinosaur. It says, try me. You wiggle its tail, I think. It's kind of like a remote control because you twist the tail and the head twists and then you move the tail back and forth and the head goes back and forth. You move the tail up and down and the head goes up and down. So that's kind of cool as a little remote control thing happening. And then on the back it says, Tella has a hunch that the world's first biggest party is going to be a roar some good time. With her party ceratops rockin' boomin' beats and her friends by her side, Tella can see this dino rockin' party is written in the stars. It's written back there. I didn't read it well enough for you in many different languages. This is an international card, because again, I am Canadian. Look at the party confetti. There is a good time happening. The artwork is always cute. Apparently you can't recycle this. I don't know, I usually save these boxes anyway. It says, Tella can ride dino. And then there's more on this side about the feature of the shaky tail. The box is nice. Maybe I can use it as a diorama. I'm going to open it really carefully right now. I think its feet are pinned to the bottom of the box. Yeah, we got two little foot holders. There we go. And then I'll try to take this box apart later and clean it all up. One last look at this great box. The logo. I love that Tella loves crystals, because I love crystals. And that means that she's more apt to come with translucent pieces of cool plastic. For instance, look at these crystal lag bracelets. Those are amazing. They're sparkly and they're translucent. Those are awesome. And then her neck piece, looks like this, all crystally and sparkly too. It's a different color. And then this is what her dress looks like. Her hair is pretty soft. It's not the softest. And then she has a crown that is just elastic banded it on, but it's also attached to another fastener. I'm gonna take that off right now so we can take a look at it. Try not to pull out her hair at the same time. It's more similar to her ankles, but it's another different plastic. Not as translucent, but it has the sparkles and it's really crystalled up. And then in her theme, her fortune telling stargazing theme, she has moon and stars all over her asymmetrical dress going on a slant. It's all jaggedy as normal, like the Cave Club clothes do, but it's cute. Velcro's in the back. Lots of articulation on Cave Club. Wrists, elbows, head, knees, not ankles. 
Let me put all her stuff back on. Her face paint this time is extra, extra special. Look at those three shades of eyeshadow. And then the stars on her face and the moon is a different color. There's another blue star under her eye. Yeah, I like this. Oh, and I guess she's got a fourth shade underneath her eye in greenish, but cute. And, oh, this feels nice. This is a good feeling plastic. This is going to be my favorite ghetto blaster yet from all of Mattel. So great. Look at the details on the back. It's hollow inside, but it's not hollow on the back. So that's cool. And it's got a handle. It's got a tape deck and it's got woofers and tweeters and it's got an equalizer, more buttons, all the jam and jam and it's made in stone, purple stone, pink purple stone. Tell has got more of a pink hair underneath her prominent blue hair, but also some violet streaks at the top. She's really special and cute love her. It's weird to have the long straight hair. I don't know if we've had any dolls that had just a simple long straight hair. It's fairly long as you can see. It goes all the way down to almost her ankles. All right here's, well let's look at this propaganda first. See if there's anything that I miss. Here's a picture of them both for products sold in the U.S. I don't know what that's about. Some more propaganda. Here's the good stuff. I see I'll save this for sure. Okay, so it shows you this hollow part functions as storage. I guess you would turn it this way so you could blast the music out from behind you. And that is an awesome feature. I love that. And it plays the music. I'm saving the best part for last. Legs are pretty loose, but they're still like this ratchet joint and paw prints, more paw prints, toes. You could kind of rear her up, but not really. The legs are loose, but it goes forward this much, back this much, and the saddle doesn't come off. So that's disappointing, unlike the last one. The saddle came on. Well, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't. Oh, oh, you got a sneak peek at one of the sounds. Okay, so let's go over the sounds. Okay, here we go. One of the sounds. Love that song. It's talking almost. <laughs> the party horn sound. Another song. Unlike my Fisher Price Frozen playset, I don't think that I'm going to be dinged on this. They took away all of my money. Disney took away all my money for playing the songs on my Fisher Price toys in my video. Battery replacement. Cute little snowflake design, floral design, Indian design on the chest for the sound to come out. It's cute. Okay, let me find those instructions again. Make sure I can't take the saddle off. It takes three AAA batteries. And then the only other thing is how to put her in the saddle. Yeah, it's really secured on there. I'm disappointed that the saddle doesn't come off because I like to have a stripped down dinosaur. So this saddle does come off. And I do like how they complement each other. It has a tuft of hair. This one doesn't have a real tuft of hair. I really would have liked if they matched better, if they had the same rules that went along with them. I would like if this one had hair or this one didn't have hair. 
and I would like if the saddle didn't come off or this saddle, I would prefer the saddle to come off. That is my biggest disappointment. He's got Tella markings on his face. You can see he's got that paw print in his eye, that little design that we see on the bottoms of the paws. I guess it's more like a fossil or a trilobite. And her, the saddle is crystal. That's kind of cute. And what sound is it going to make now? <laughs> cute. Oh yeah, and the other thing, this one can fit two friends. And this one only fits one friend, unfortunately. So there are some things that I'm disappointed about. I'm not disappointed about the detail in the bones back here. That's really cute. I guess she's just gonna hang on to the top of the plate. I mean, maybe somebody can fit on there too. There's lots of space. I figure somebody can just hold on to her maybe, or hold on to the ghetto blaster. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do because there's way too much room for it not to carry around more than one person. So that's what she looks like riding it. That's really cute. They look great together. They're definitely going to be friends. This one definitely has more articulation and changeability. So I do think that this dinosaur is better, but I guess they had to make room for all of the extra sounds. And the songs are really good, so. Stay tuned to the end. We'll have a dino rockin' party, but I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the Tiny Tots video too. Oh, love you guys so much. All right, I think it's gonna be a song this time.